Detroit Motor Show 2017, News Roundup The North American International Auto Show in Detroit is the first big new car event of 2017. Here's a roundup of the biggest news. The first big event in the motoring calendar each year is the Detroit Motor Show, and 2017 was no exception. The North American International Auto Show, NAS, to give it its full name, has been going as an international event for 29 years now, and has become one of the essential motor shows for manufacturers to show off their latest concept cars and new technology. Detroit is obviously an American motor show, and so the majority of cars on show were intended for the US market. That's not to say that it's of no interest to us Europeans, as there were plenty of new cars and concepts on display which were relevant to the UK market. While a big theme of the last few motor shows has been autonomous driving, driver assistance, and alternative powertrains, Detroit 2017 has been surprisingly different. Of course the show floor did play host to lots of electric, autonomous cars, but this is America, and the home of the Corvette, Mustang, and Viper was never going to be happy without some serious performance on show. Below you'll find all the big news from the 2017 Detroit Motor Show. We've got the most important new car unveils including the Kia Stinger GT, Lexus LS, Audi Q8 Concept and the revised Mercedes Glock. Beyond that there's news on some of the most influential concept cars and exclusive stories from our interviews with the car industry's leading executives, plus our live gallery packed with the latest Detroit Motor Show pictures. Detroit Motor Show 2017, Key Cars The major new car and concept car launches at the 2017 Detroit Motor Show. Kia Stinger GT a four-door GT designed to add extra desirability to Kia's range. Audi Q8, Audi's reveals plan to attack the Range Rover with big luxury SUV concept. Lexus LS, an all-new high-tech flagship for the Lexus range. Mercedes Glot, a new look for Merck's popular compact SUV. VW ID. Buzz, another concept tempting VW fans with a production microbus Camp Urban clone. Detroit Motor Show 2017, New Cars and Concepts Scroll down the page for all the key cars at the 2017 Detroit Motor Show and click the links for the full story on each model. Audi Q8 Audi unveiled a concept for the new flagship of its QSUV brand at Detroit. Called the Q8, it will rival the Range Rover, BMW X6, and Mercedes GLE Coupe when a production version arrives in 2018. The Q8 concept is powered by a 3.0-liter TFC engine paired with an electric motor, which combined develops 438 bhp and 700 nm of torque. A 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 5.4 seconds is also quoted. We also learned that the Q8 will be joined by an SQ8 with power from Audi's advanced V8 diesel engine. Audi SQ5 Alongside the Q8 concept is another new SUV offering from Audi. The Audi SQ5 is a hot version of the new Q5 midsize crossover, making use of a 3.0-liter turbo V6 petrol engine producing 349 bhp and 500 nm of torque. 0 to 62 miles per hour is over and done within 5.4 seconds, with top speed limited to 155 miles per hour. Quattro all-wheel drive features, as does an 8-speed Tiptronic automatic gearbox. It'll be on sale in the UK in the second half of 2017. BMW 5 Series Amazingly, despite us having already driven it, Detroit was the public debut of BMW's latest 5 Series. The Mercedes E-Class rival will appear in showrooms in the next few months, and potential buyers will have the chance to get hands-on with it at Detroit. GAC Motor Chinese carmaker GAC was the first from the country to announce its presence at this year's Detroit show. The entire model lineup was present, including the GS7, plus range additions that include a hybrid crossover, 
a new SUV and an electric vehicle. Infiniti QX50 Concept Infiniti displayed a concept version of its all-new QX50 SUV ahead of production in 2018. Arrival to the Mercedes GLC, BMW X3 and Audi Q5, the Infiniti QX50 concept sits above the QX30 and is closer to the production spec than the previous QX Sport Inspiration concept. Kia Stinger GT Kia's big reveal at the show was a new rear-wheel drive performance saloon called the Kia Stinger GT. Taking on a four-door coupe style, it's tasked with livening up Kia's international image and pushing the brand further upmarket. Powered by a 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6, it comes with 335 bhp and a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 5.1 seconds. This version will arrive on sale in the UK in September, followed by a less powerful four-cylinder turbo version and a diesel. We've also learned that an all-electric model could be in the pipeline too. Lexus LS A new Lexus flagship was one of the stars of this year's show, and the all-new Lexus LS will go on sale in North America later this year before heading to the UK. The new car shares its platform with the new LC Coupe, using a longer version of the GAL architecture. With its new coupe-like shape, it's a larger car than the outgoing model but is also 90 kilograms lighter. Making its debut in LS500 form, it gets a twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 producing 409 bhp and 600 nm torque. A new cabin and new technology such as semi-autonomous driving modes and safety features also make the cut. Mercedes E-Class Coupe Last year's show saw the introduction of the latest Mercedes E-Class, and this year saw the coupe version of Merck's plush new saloon take its bow. Mercedes had already revealed the car with prices and specifications, so the show was merely the E-Class Coupe's public debut. It's heavily influenced by its larger S-Class Coupe sibling, and will start from £40,135 when order books open in spring. Mercedes GLA 2017 Facelift The smallest crossover in the Mercedes range is getting an upgrade, and the facelift Mercedes GLA model was on display at Detroit. Subtle styling tweaks make the cut, with revised bumpers and new alloy wheels. Smaller alterations mean that overall the fresh GLA is slightly slipperier, with a better drag coefficient. As standard the GLA now gets the off-road comfort suspension option, meaning it rides 30 mm taller, the lower suspension is a no-cost option though. A light interior refresh and new tech also features. Mercedes S-Class Coupe Night Edition Alongside the debut of the all-new E-Class Coupe was a special edition version of its larger S-Class brother. Called the S-Class Coupe Night Edition, it features jet black finishes on some of the exterior trims, such as the 20-inch alloy wheels and on the grille. It'll launch in the UK in S500 form in April 2017. In other news, Mercedes confirmed for the first time that a Mercedes Maybach SUV is on the cards, but few other details on the super luxury 4x4 were offered. Nissan V-Motion 2.0 Concept Showcasing both Nissan's future design language and the developments in the brand's autonomous driving system, the Nissan V-Motion 2.0 concept has an enlarged version of the brand's new grille, first shown on the new Micra. The angular shape also previewed a potential future Maxima replacing large saloon. Rinspeed Oasis The Oasis is the latest crazy concept car from Swiss tuner Rinspeed, and while it took its bow at the Consumer Electronics Show only days ago it also appeared at Neas. It's a self-driving lounge, boasting a 5K curved display on the dashboard and even its own bonsai garden. It was one of the most eye-catching concepts at the show. Volkswagen i.d Buzz The i.d Buzz is another electric minibus concept from VW, being the second member of VW's i.d family and expected to be a figurehead for VW's Uber rivaling Moya ride sharing brand which will kick off in 2020. It uses retro styling cues reminiscent of the old Type 2 microbus, but packs in plenty of future tech. It's an autonomous vehicle, 
using an all-wheel drive electric powertrain producing a combined 369 bhp. Wireless charging also features, and VW claims the technology powering the concept means an all-electric range between 270 to 373 miles. Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace Another Volkswagen debutante at the show was a long wheelbase variant of the Tiguan with seven seats, a rival for the Nissan X-Trail and the slightly more upmarket Land Rover Discovery Sport. It's called the VW Tiguan Allspace, boasting 220mm additional length over the regular Tiguan. 110mm of that extra length goes into the wheelbase, while the rear overhang is 110 millimeters bigger to help accommodate the third row of seats. We've driven a prototype version, which you can read about here.